All right. This question. Um, they say that a farm had a total of 2,376 chickens and ducks at first. This is the total number of, we call chicken and ducks poultries, right? They are not birds. They, they are not farm animals. They are poultries. They are, they are, you can find them in a farm, okay? The birds in a farm. So we're going to name this as the total poultry. Trees, P O U L T R I E S. Okay. When the farmer bought 15% more chickens and 25% more ducks, there were a total of 2934 chickens and ducks in the end. Again, this is the total poultry. Okay. This is the total. How many ducks were there in the farm at first? I only want the number of ducks. Okay, so we know over here we can identify the BCA very easily because from the question I can see that at first. Whenever there is at first means there is something going on in the story. Then when I look at the story again, yes, there is something going on because the farmer bought more chicken and bought more ducks, right? That is the change. The word bought here tells me that this is the change. Okay. The first sentence, definitely, you know, by now, this is my before. Right. And then the word in the end, the phrase in the end tells me that this is my after information. I have my BCA already. I have my BCA already. Okay. However, I told you just now that we need to convert all the percentages into fraction so that you can work easily with units. Let's do that first before plotting out the table. Okay. All right. Uh, let's do the chickens. So we put the C, 15%, right? You copy down 15% equals to 15% 15 is 15 over 100. And then when you reduce, you divide it by 5, divide it by 5, you're going to get 3 over 20. Simplest form, it's already in units, units form. Okay, done with the chickens. Now let's move on to the ducks. So the duck, what happened is 25% more duck equals to 25 over 100. Okay. Same thing, divided by 5, divided by 5, and I get 5 out of 20. I can further reduce this, divided by 5, divided by 5, equals to 1 over 4. Units, units. Okay, now done. All the percentages have been converted into units already. Now let's draw out my table. Okay, we draw out the table to put in all the information that we have first. Just a small one because this question is not just about the BCA. There's more to it, okay? So I'm going to draw out simple, easy one. So I'm going to convert or divide it into half. So I have chicken and I have ducks, all right? And then I have my B, my C, and my A. And then we draw the lines here. Then we're going to fill it up. So we pick and put the information, right? For the chicken information the before let's look here this three is what was added this is what was bought this is my total before your denominator is always a total and what was the before the initial amount the initial unit is 20 unit. but what happened is the farmer bought 20 unit not bought 20 sorry but three more from that 20 unit, okay? So add on to the 20 unit, okay? So this bot means plus. Same goes here. This one means bot, which is plus. This is the total, which is the before as well, okay? So I can pick and put easily. Let's just put in the information for the chicken first. The chicken before is 20 unit. He bought three unit more. The ducks before information is four unit. He bought one unit more. Now you go down the column. Go down the column. Chicken, 20 plus 3 is 23 units. Ducks, 4 plus 1 is 5 units. Like this. Okay? Now we are done with this portion. But let's input the totals. Remember, in the question, there's a total before. You have this total of 2, 3, 7, 6. Just put in like that. So you know... You can refer easily also, okay? Over here will be um, 
2934. 2934. Okay, so I have all this information. Now, we are going to do the next portion. We are going to do the two variable concept. Two variable concept. Okay, what is this? This is when you have two sets of information. Where are the two sets of information? Let me just highlight to you. Uh. Can you see? 20 unit plus 4 unit give you 2376. Then I have the second set of information. 23 unit plus 5 unit give me 293443, right? So I have two sets of information given here. That's why I cannot just use this table. I have to use my variable concept. Something have to be get rid of. So we go back to the question. How many ducks were there in the farm at first? I want the ducks. Which one don't I want? I don't want the chicken. So I must get rid of the chicken first. That's why two variable concept comes in the picture. Okay. So we're going to rewrite it here for two variable concept. You can uh, draw out a table also. Okay. So two variable concept means three columns. Huh? So I'm going to draw out a three column box. Maybe about here. Okay. Then we divide it equally like this. Okay. We have the chicken, we have the duck, and then we have the total like that. Okay. We cut it up into at least about three columns first. If we need more, we draw more lines later. Okay. The first one is this one. Okay. So 20 chicken. Plus four duck equals to two, three, seven, six poultries. This is P O U L T R I E S. Okay, that's why I say that poultries is a birds. Okay, the next line will be this one 23 chicken plus five duck equals to two, nine, three, four. Trees. Okay, now what are we going to do? We are going to find the difference between these two information. Okay, so like that, we're going to find the difference. Can you see my brackets, right? So we're going to minus, we're going to minus, we're going to minus. Alright, so when you minus 23 minus 20, you get 3 chicken. And then the plus continue 5 minus 4 you get 1 duck and then equals to this one when you minus 2 9 3 4 minus 2 3 7 6 you get 5 5 8 4 3 right so we we have this information now right now we are going to go back to the first we are going to get back to the first row which which means we're going to look at this one we're going to look at this four ducks we look going to look at four ducks right we want to make it into four ducks because i want to focus on my ducks i want to throw away my chicken get rid of my chicken first okay so what i'm going to do here is i'm going to times four so i'm going to make it to become four ducks because i times four here here also times four so here becomes 12 chicken plus four ducks equals to five five eight times four also equals to 2, 2, 3, 2. Pole trees. Alright. So, then what I'm going to do is we're going to compare between the chicken and the ducks. When I say compare means you're going to minus compare. Okay. So, 12 minus 4 equals to 8. Unit. Now, we're going to just represent it as unit easily because now chicken and duck, we're converting it everything to unit back. Okay. So, 8 unit represent... Two, two, three, two. Sorry, two, three, seven, six. The first information, ah, huh? this total, okay. Two, three, seven, six. Take away your two, two, three, two. This will give you one, four, four chicken, okay. So because I'm getting rid of my duck first, I'm getting rid of my ducks first, okay. So once you have this information, one, four, four chicken, we go, go back again. So we have eight unit is 
144, one unit is 144 divided by 8 equals to 18. Okay, now we are going to find three units. Three unit is 18 times 3 equals to 5, 4, 6. Okay, then we look back at um, 558 just now, the total here. Okay, so we take 558, take away 5. Four six. Fifteen. Sorry, not five. Five four six. Fifty four here. Fifty four equals to five zero four ducks. Okay. And if you look here, I want to find four ducks, right? Four ducks at first. Four ducks at first. Can you see the four ducks there? So four ducks means you take 504 times your 4 and you get 2016. And that's your answer. Okay?